awesome person, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, that's awesome, then just welcome to my channel. My name is Joy, I do unboxings, makeup try-ons, and I throw in all kinds of things to keep you on your toes. And today, I am doing a collab with Janet's Review Box. We are doing a picture picks my colors collab. If you're interested in collabs like this, keep watching. So today I'm doing a picture picks my colors collab with Janet's review box. Janet is so awesome and she does really, really great looks and we decided to collab together and she came up with this idea where this picture right here are all of the colors that I have to use on my eyes to create a look. And I picked a picture, this one right here, and she has to use these colors to create a look. So once you are done watching me, if this is the type of thing you're into and you haven't seen any of Janet's videos yet, or even if you have, go check out her video. So to get all of the colors that I need right here, <laughs> I found five different palettes. One palette for each color. Why? Because out of all the palettes that I have, I could not even find one that had two similar colors to the shades that I'm going to need for this collab. All right, so I picked the Moods palette by Laura Sanchez for my yellowish color because that is the closest yellow that I could get to the one in the picture. I picked my Spongebob palette for a pink because this color pink right here is the closest pink that I could find to the picture. My Soul's Nine Color Shadow palette, I think Soul is the name of it. But this palette is going to be for the orange and I'm going to use that orange right there. This is the closest orange I could come up to, to the one in the picture. And then I'm going to use my I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers palette for the next pink and that is going to be that color right there. It is the closest one I could come up with and my editor's palette. And for the last shade, I'm going to use this one because it again is the closest color that I could come up with to the picture. So after doing all of that, I am going to throw some eye primer on and then I'll be right back. So I used my Amuse Cosmetics eyeshadow primer in the shade Clean Slate. And I got this off of Shop Miss A. It's one of my favorite primers. So I am going to start off with the I Heart Revolutions. And I'm going to use this shade here as my base. Not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. So let's do this together. I do know that a couple of these palettes work better with eye primer. That is why I put the primer on. I still don't like eye primer, but sometimes you just need it. And I sometimes just need it even though I can't stand it. I don't know. I think that eye primer just makes my eyes look a little older than they should. And I just, I guess I just don't like that. And I've tried quite a few primers. I am super excited though to see what Jana comes up with. I love her makeup looks. I am jealous. I wish I had the shape of her eyes. Ugh, I could do so much with the shape of her eyes. But I have the shape of my own eyes. So I'll just do the best that I can. <laughs> Acting like I don't know how to put makeup on. I'm so silly sometimes. 
Alrighty, so I think that's going to be a pretty good base. Probably a little darker than I should have had it, but a whale. <laughs> so I think I decided I'm going to use the yellow next. Now, I am so floored at the moment, I can't even lie. I would never have picked these colors. That's what makes it super exciting is because these are colors I normally wouldn't wear. So I'm just going to add that. I don't even know if this is going to turn out looking nice or not, but we'll deal with it. We'll make it work one way or another. So I think I'm going to do a kind of like a halo now. Um, after I do this, because I do need to fit in five colors, so... I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go, go ahead and use my L'Oreal Paris concealer to put in my eyes. Actually, I'll just do this. So I'm actually thinking that this color here is going to be more of that color because I do have a copy of the picture to look at. So we're just going to go ahead and go on with that one. And I am going to put that orange where I put this at. And I know I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared how this is going to turn out. I don't know. I'm liking this orange though. Orange is nice. Very, very nice. My son is doing his dishes, so if you hear pops in the pan clinging, that's him. Gotta have chores. Or they learn nothing in life. That's just my opinion though. And then I'm going to use my very, very, I know this is a bright pink, <laughs> on this. So let's see. Oh. Of the color here because I want the yellow to still show. <laughs> this is definitely crazy. Crazy. I like it though. I normally not put these colors together, but why not? Right? Oh, I am so sorry. My family keeps busting in here talking to me, even though they all know I'm recording. And so I don't remember what in the heck I was talking about before I had to pause you guys. I hate that. Absolutely hate it. They know it, but none of them seem to care. And that sucks on that. I mean, sometimes they do, but like days like today when they keep busting in on me, it's very, very fucking annoying. So fucking annoying. Alright. So I think what I'm going to do, because I really, really want the yellow to be in there. <laughs> so I'm going to grab that palette again. Dip into some more yellow. And I am going to take it right about here. Okay, now I don't know what you'd call this look other than definitely unique. I don't know if I'll ever do this again, but call me rare, better like it. <laughs> I 
And then I'm going to go back in with that pink because I need all my colors to show. And I'm just going to top that off up here. Colors. I literally covered everything else. That was the pink. So I'll just do that there. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Ooh, pretty, pretty. And then I'm going to use my very last color, which is that color there. And I'm going to put that under here. To be able to use all five of these colors. And I know I already said this, but I can't wait to see what Janet came up with. Because the colors that I picked for her are kind of more my colors, I think. I think I could have came up with a better look. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup off the camera. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my final look. I gotta tell you, I tried some new things, like I put a bunch of foundation on, and um, concealer, and then I like did the whole like bronzing and contouring thing, and I even used um, setting powder. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I think that's too dark up there. Um, I think my cheeks are too pinky. I think my lips are awesome. And now that I got my lashes on, I do think that my eyes look amazing. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below of if you like the look I came up with, if you don't like the look that I came up with. Um, tell me if you think that my bronzing is too dark or if it's just right because I bronzed. I did contour. I did the stuff under the eyes and then I set it with um, Seattle London powder. And so, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. I do hope you enjoyed watching this collab video. Please go check out Janet's review box and see what look she came up with, with the colors that I chose for her. I will leave all of her information up here and down below in the description like I do with everyone. I do hope you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome and peace out awesome crew.